Okay, so what we have here is a histology model of the duodenum. So this is the anatomy of the duodenum, the microscopic anatomy of the duodenum. And what you can see up on top are these big finger-like projections. Each individual one is a villus. All of them together are called villi. Okay, these big finger-like projections are called villus. What you can see is they're up here in the mucosal layer because that's where we're going to have a lot of these simple columnar epithelial tissues. Lots of goblet cells and secretion going on up here. Just below that, we're going to have this submucosal layer filled with a lot of vasculature, a big lymph node, and even some glands. This is the duodenal gland, otherwise known as the Brunner's gland. Down beneath the submucosal layer, now we have muscle. This is the muscularis externa, where we're going to have both circular muscle and horizontal muscles. Circular muscles to change the diameter of the tube, and horizontal muscles to change the length of the tube. And finally, on the very outside, we have serosa. We have basically, you know, this connective tissue that helps hold everything together. And since the duodenum is retroperitoneal, large majority of it, this would be called adventitia. As you get into the abdominal cavity, you pass back into the peritoneum, then it would be considered visceral peritoneum. A couple more structures to think about. You have the lamina propria, which is this tissue layer that's inside of each individual villus. And if you take the lamina propria away, what you get is this green tube right here. And this is part of the lymphatic system. This is something called the lacteal. And this is what helps us absorb fats. It actually helps us uh, absorb the, chi uh, the, the, my the my <laughs> chylomicrons that are produced inside of these cells during the absorption of fats and they go in the lymphatic system before getting all the way back up to the subclavian veins and back into the blood system finally. The last thing I'm going to point out on here is this dissension right here. So we have this villus and down at the base of the villus we have a crypt. This is an intestinal crypt and this is where we have a whole bunch of different endo um, basically these endocrine cells down in here, your enterokinase cells, and they're going to produce all sorts of digestive enzymes and cholecystokinine and a bunch of other hormones that are going to be discussed in physiology. All right, that's it for this histology model. Please look for me in the next YouTube video.